today. One of the greatest grandma vehicles of all time from Star Wars Episode One: the Sith Speeder with Darth Maul. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxing. And remember, for all your Star Wars Black Series needs, make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Well, today, we're getting down to it. We're opening up Star Wars Episode 1, Phantom Menace, Sith Speeder, Darth Maul. So another grandma vehicle. We've talked about it before on the channel. A step below a regular figure, a step or a step, yeah, a step above a regular figure, a step below a regular vehicle, somewhere in the middle at a nice price point that your grandma would love to buy for you. And that's what we got with Darth Maul. This is one of the more iconic grandma vehicles in the episode one line. Uh, we all remember Darth Maul speeding away on that speeder in uh, episode one. You know, some of the other stuff like the blaster cannons with Jar Jar Binks, the Cadu with Jar Jar, the Qui-Gon Jinn, the OP, that kind of stuff. You remember those maybe if you think about it, but you really remember uh, Darth Maul riding off on his speeder. We all remember that scene. Darth Maul, he captured our hearts and never let go in the episode one. We all thought, whoa, this guy is crazy. And you know why we all thought he was crazy and, and we all remembered him so well? It goes back to the age-old uh, lesson we've always learned, and we talk about it on the channel a lot. People love people in face paint. They love people in masks. They love big f figures, big characters. Uh, and they love crazy stuff like that. And that's no different with Darth Maul. It could be a wrestler. It could be a Darth Maul figure. People love face paint. They love masked people. They love people wielding a lightsaber. Just the way it goes. I don't write the rules. I just report on them. So here it is. Let's take a look at the packaging like we always do. There it is. Star Wars Episode One. You got Darth Maul. He's so, he's so famous they put him on the, every single package. Because Sith Speeder, you got the little window box there. You know he's going to be locked in with a thousand different twist ties. That's just the way they did it back then. There's a little display picture there. Same thing on the other bottom. And you got the sides, of course. Both sides the same. And then, of course, you've got to have the back. And that's where the business really picks up. You're promoting. you got the UPCs. you got 20 Jedi Master points. What are you going to do with all those points? I don't know. Let's see what it says on the back here. Sith Speeder and Darth Maul. Uh, with launching Sith Probe Droid. Darth Maul is a pure manifestation of the dark side of the Force. Ordered by Darth Sidious to destroy the Jedi Qui-Gon Jinn, he succeeded. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Maul uses his personal re repulsor lift vehicle, the Sith Speeder, to carry out his sinister mission. The Speeder supports a deployment system capable of launching a seeker droid known as the Sith Probe Droid. This droid maintains ultra-receptive sensor array... Arrays capable of tracking down practically anything. Swift and focused, Darth Maul speeds over the desert sands of Tatooine in search of his Jedi prey. Meanwhile, the welfare of the galaxy hangs in the balance. Absolutely love a description like that. Doesn't take up a ton of room on the box. Looking at you, G.I. Joe Classified. Even looking at Marvel Legends sometimes. Some of the other lines out there. Stuff like this is what we want on our packaging. I can't be the only one. I think a little blurb never hurts. It gives a deeper understanding. And I put myself in the consumer's shoes as a little kid. Uh, there's a lot of times I was picking toys based on the explanation on the back and, and the story involved that would get your mind working. And guess what? You'd get your figure fed at home going. You'd say, oh, if he does this, I can put him with this toys I already have. And bam, you got a whole new uh, aspect of your play days. So this uh, is an interesting. The Sith Speeder. So, you know, taking a step back in the Star Wars universe, where do you go to buy a Sith Speeder? Is there like a dealership and you got all these Siths walking in there, you know? And there's only like, I think, doesn't the Sith thing work? There's like a master and apprentice and everybody else has to be killed. There can only be two. I believe that's the rule. So who's selling at this dealership these Sith Speeders? Is it really called a Sith Speeder or is it just a speeder you could buy for anybody, you know? Uh, Bib, Bib Fortuna's buying one, Admiral Ackbar's getting one, and then Darth Maul's picking one up on clearance. I don't know how that works. It's this, The Star Wars Galaxy is really interesting. Uh, they name all kinds of stuff, but we need to backlog. We need to see some of these uh, ship dealerships, stuff like that. What's going on there? I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of joking, but I'm kind of not. I pull him out. Oh, we got one of those books. We love these books. Oh, we even got instructions in here. There it is. See you later. We're going up high towards the sky. Oh, yeah. You know he's strapped in. He's strapped in forever. 
but a very solid Darth Maul figure. And we got, like Jar Jar, I give Dar Jar Jar a hard time because there's so many Jar Jar figures. Darth Maul's not very far behind. There was a lot of Darth Maul figures. Uh, there he is in the old cardboard prison, we'll call it. He's going to be tough to get out. Good thing I, I got to keep scissors close for these old Star Wars unboxings. There's so many twist ties. Um, get him out of there. Is he out? Nope, go. My goodness. Look at this. We've got some notes in here. What is going on? His vehicle just falls right out, though. Ooh, I almost gave it the see you later, and there's pieces in here. All right. Let's see. Look what it says there. A little warning on the back on the cardboard. Parents should remove and discard fastening devices. So, uh, Dad, I'm sorry I'm doing this on my own, but I'll call my dad over later and I'll let him uh, deal with this garbage. Dad, if you could just take this uh, garbage to your house. And you could think I'm joking. I'm not. I've actually had my dad over here a few times and said, Hey, Dad, I got all these boxes of uh, cardboard toys. Can You got any room in your garbage can? I'm full. Um, so I've had to do that in the past. Got him out, and see you later. All right, Darth Maul. They even rubber band the uh, dual lightsaber to him. I think that is a really cool extra touch. I mean, they don't do that with toys these days. They're trying to save every single penny these days. But uh, it's rubber band onto his hand, which I'm going to leave it like that for now. Nice, soft, soft goods here. That's so he can be on his bike, of course. But a very solid Darth Maul. No paint problems, no sticky disease. Got to like that. Uh, what do we got here? We got instructions. Luckily, they're easy instructions. Oh, okay, goes through the middle there. Okay, check. Yep, got it. There it is. And it says slightly press lever to open. Just slightly. You just got to slightly press it. But where is the. Oh, look at that. Neat. Neato. Oh, we got a little plastic we got to get out of here. Let me carve that out. See you later. Garbage pile. All right, now where does this uh, little weapon go here? Looks like it might go. Oh, there it is. So it's hidden inside the back, apparently. Whoa! Did you guys see that? Hopefully you caught that, but this pops open, and bam! So you slightly pop it, and then you hold it all the way down, and it shoots right out. Bam! Right out the back. Surprise! That's how you take an eye out, kids. Uh, that's what happens. Uh, you got the handlebars that go up or down. Being a, oh, it's got a kickstand on it even. I, I appreciate that, a little plastic clear kickstand, so it will stand. I was wondering about that, so it does stand on its own power. Uh, they put a very subtle kickstand. You can see that clear plastic. That is awesome. 1999, they were doing things right with some of these Star Wars figures. It stands on its own like that, because if you don't have that, it would just roll off. It would be just annoying, like that G.I. Joe buzzer vehicle, if you guys remember that back in the day. So I'm all in. I like this one a lot more than I thought. And I got this for $8.99. See you later. Uh, I got it for $8.99. I think that is a more than fair price for this one. Uh, I think that is a deal of the day. I'd go that far to say, hey, you know what? That was the de the true deal of the day. Uh, he fits in the speeder. This is awesome. Yeah, this is solid. A solid, solid figure. I would have to think this would work with a modern day uh, uh, Darth Maul figure from the Vintage Collection. If you have one of those, you want to open it up, a little bit better quality figure. This figure is actually better than expected. Uh, and of all these grandma vehicles we've opened, I'm pretty pleased with this one. And uh, a bit of a sleeper. I didn't think this one would be as good as it is. Interesting. We've got the ComTech Reader in here. I absolutely love these pamphlets. They're a great checklist. It's a good way to go through and say, okay, what else am I missing? Uh, it's great to circle things to give to your grandma or give to your parents for Christmas and birthdays. There's just so many lost arts in toy collecting. And maybe it's just because I'm older. Uh, maybe I long for the old days. But uh, stuff like this is what is what you want. I mean, it's just it really is. You want a big checklist. This is a nice, thick book. I mean, this is awesome. I, I really miss this in the toys uh, that I grew up on. I mean, there was no better way. You flip through this and you say, oh, wow, there's, there's what's this line called, you know, mask or whatever. Uh, maybe I'll look at those next time always be promoting it was the golden age the 80s and 90s of toys this was definitely 99 the golden age the end of the golden age of toys as far as that kind of stuff we're in a new golden age of toys now i'm starting to ramble but oh well hang with me we're in the new golden age of toys now as far as uh, 
what we've always wanted. Uh, you know, the articulation, the paint applications, the deluxe figures, the ultimate figures out there. Uh, truly is the golden age of toys, but there's something to be said about the 80s, 90s toys. Uh, yeah, they weren't the most articulated. Yeah, they weren't uh, the craziest uh, uh, paint applications and, and articulation, but there was definitely something special about those toys. Um, so I won't go on too much longer that, about that, but I will talk about this speeder in Darth Maul. Definitely pick this one up. Slam dunk. I'm sure a lot of you guys have this. Like I said, I never had this in my life. Uh, definitely pick this up, though. I think it's a sleeper, sleeper one. Definitely for me, this was the one I was the least excited about and went right to the top of my list of the old Grandma Phantom Menace Episode 1 vehicles. Tell me your thoughts on this one. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All kinds of Star Wars unboxings, as you guys know. We're pumping them out every single day as a bonus on the channel. Not taking away from the normal videos we're doing every day. So there you go. So for Darth Maul, I'm Kyle. I got Saxon, Denim and Leather, brought us all together. I'll see you guys all real soon.